Good morning, Puppet. Go. Yeah, she has some puppets. Child minder mornings like today usually consist of a quick breakfast on my lap <laughs> whilst we have a snuggle and watch about two minutes of Peppa Pig before I have to get her dressed and run her to the child minders. Need to put your dress on. I really wanted to put your cute little pink dangers on but they're not dry. No. So I washed them yesterday. Come here! <laughs> Gonna try not to natter too much because I really need to leave. Just dropped a light off at the child minders. Having my coffee. Um, there's not much more that I need to do. I got up a bit earlier than Delilah today to do my makeup. As you can see I have plaited my hair so I'm hoping I can just take it out and it'll be done. Doug's had a cold all week and I have just been hoping that I don't get it because today I am off to YouTube to go to a panel. If you've watched my vlog where I went to the Channel Mum um, day at YouTube at New YouTube in King's Cross, it's kind of like that. So there's lots of panels happening today. It's a parent YouTube day thing again. And I was asked um, about a month ago now if I would like to go there today and join in with one of the panels it's YouTube. It's my territory. I was like, yeah, of course, I'll come and do it. I've done a fair few panels over the years. I've done some really cool ones. I remember I did, I did one with Company Magazine. Who remembers Company Magazine? I loved Company Magazine. They're really good with um, bloggers. Like it was a real sort of like blogger magazine and I just loved them. And I did a panel with um, the editor of Company Magazine after winning. Um, I think they picked me because I won like best fashion vlog one year, which was really cool. That was back then when I had a blog. And I was on a panel with uh, Susie Bubble and um, a couple of other magazine editors. Yeah, Susie was the only other uh, blogger, but obviously she's like super big and has been in all sorts of magazines and stuff. I was just sort of just like, I just like to vlog little collages and stuff and then I had to obviously my YouTube was my main thing. So yeah, I've done quite a few panels from like doing the company magazine one to I did one with the BBC once. I did like a really, a, a really big one um, when I was pregnant. I can't remember what, what it was for really. Um, but I was on a panel with people from like MTV and all these big magazines and then there was just me with my YouTube and I was like oh hi. <laughs> Very grateful today that I haven't got a full on cold. I'm feeling really um like like I'm about to get one and it's making me I feel like it's making me talk a bit funny. I can really feel it in my nose. Hopefully this clears up because I don't want to be like <clears throat> like sniffing and coughing and stuff on the panel. I have done one panel before for it um, it was at youtube within google it wasn't a paddle really i did it with fleur um from fleur de force and it was just us two but it was before delilah before i was pregnant it was a long time ago and it was like a businessy one there was also like businessy people asking us like the business side of youtube and i think they were trying to learn how to work with youtubers it was a really random event anyway yeah so um today's panel is very much going to be very relaxed it's going to be about my youtube and the other people's youtube i don't know who else is going to be on the panel with me so i'm looking forward to seeing who's going to be there with me i thought i'd bring you guys along and i'm already chatting way too much than i should be i've told myself today i'm not going to faff around worry about my outfit too much just go in a normal normal outfit for me i have three choices i'm obviously going to wear jeans and my boots or oh, actually i might wear flats i don't know um but i'm either going to wear just my striper t-shirt or i'm going to wear a lovely i've got a white i'll show you it i've got this white blouse shirt thing that i got from whistles i'll try and link it in the description i got it on asos a while ago it is so soft and it's just a beautiful classic shirt that's always going to be a staple in my wardrobe i like that it's a little bit different it's got a keyhole at the front instead of the back and then at the back it's just this lovely um 
I don't know what you call this, but it reminds me of like old school uniforms. I just love it. Such a classic piece to have. I'm yet to find something in my wardrobe that goes well with it, that stops it looking too officey, like work, workplace office type outfit i'm gonna get dressed and then do my hair and then that's it we're good to go i'll show you what i've got on my nails today can you tell i've been ill all week because i've got emergency uh, middle of the night paracetamol because i keep waking up with headaches i have got this nailbury oxygenated nail lacquer in the color romance it's gone on so well i put this on just before i went to bed left it 10 minutes and i've gone straight to bed with two really thick coats on and i've woken up with it completely smooth there are no like you know like hair marks and smudges and stuff if you go to bed with um, freshly done nails got none of that so really recommend this polish i have a taxi coming in five minutes so that i could make it to the train station in time and not and not rush i got this beret the other day from asos it was only a tenner um i really like it my, i think my head's a bit too big for it though i think my head's too big for most hats i don't know whether to wear it i mean it's not even like covering my ears so it's not exactly gonna keep me warm i mean it kind of covers my ears just i think i look like a bit of a plonker but i don't think i'm gonna wear it because i'm i'm not gonna wear it when i'm in there so yeah let's just take it off for now get my purse in <laughs> and my phone batteries i think i'm only gonna need one battery so let's pop that in my purse makeup headphones I read through the questions for the panel whilst I was on the train and caught up on some emails. I have made it to King's Cross. I am just going to grab a coffee, then I'm going to head back that way and go to YouTube. Picked myself up a caramel cappuccino from Pret. Now I'm just going to walk five minutes down the road. Also, how cute are Pret's new Christmas cups? It's so sweet, little reindeer. I am here. Hiya. I've actually come into one of the canteens for um, to grab some lunch quick. The food here is amazing. I would have grabbed more, but I don't have much time to eat, so I've just picked up this. I've got halloumi, some like vegan potato veggie things, couscous broccoli. I walked my lunch now and um, I think it's now time to go on the panel, so I'll see what footage I can get. Maybe I can spot someone that I know here and ask if they will kindly film a few bits. Sat here waiting to go up. And look who I spotted. We're really sneaky. This is very creepy. I'm gonna see if he notices me. Any of you guys recognise him from a few vlogs ago? I think we should go say hi instead of being creepy. Hi. How's it going, man? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I didn't know you were going to be. Hello, um, my name is Rhiannon. Um, I have two YouTube channels, although since having my little girl, little girl, I've sort of neglected my main channel that has the most followers. Um, but so my main channel is uh, a vlogging channel, and I just film my day-to-day -day life. I film my little girl, what she gets up to, what I get up to. Um, and then on my main channel, um, which I will go back to soon, um, I did a lot of uh, fashion, beauty, and then just whatever I wanted to talk about. But um, it was more sort of sit down videos in my bedroom, you know, do the lush hauls, the clothing hauls, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's me really. I think. <laughs> And Emma, we already met Emma. We already met. I'm a creative strategist here at YouTube. I remember starting a channel, um, sort of trying to be funny, like the cool YouTubers um, at the time. It just didn't work. And then I discovered the fashion and beauty community and thought, I like fashion. I've done a lot of media. Why don't I mix the two together? So I set up my camera, or set up my laptop and um, filmed my first video on my webcam. And, um, and yeah, that was seven years ago and I'm still doing it to this day. <laughs> I focus a lot on travel so for me as well like I've got to do some really fun trips um, abroad to cover different places so we've traveled a lot in Southeast Asia and stayed at lovely places um, I'd say probably the best thing is just the community sounds cliche but I have made a couple of super close friends probably like for life just through this weird thing um, 
so that's been great and then just work like working with some really cool brands that have always I've always looked up to so it's great to be able to align with some of those and genuinely want to put their message out there so my channel has just naturally changed with my life it's gone from me being in school starting uni decided and definitely didn't want to do that pursued youtube um i then met my partner and our whole relationship's been online we then had our baby so it's just it's kind of stayed fresh like that really and my interests have changed um but my audience have luckily stuck with me and grown with me have you been consistent in your uploads all that time no no, I've, I've never been that great with it. Um, it was easier to get followers seven years ago than it is now. Um, nowadays, consistency is definitely key. All done, and now I'm running back to the station to grab the tube to get back to London Bridge, get my train back home. made it home with 20 minutes to spare pop you guys down here i haven't really got i haven't really got a tripod so let's um use my coasters probably still gonna be oh that's a bit wonky isn't it that's not great Rihanna. that's a bit, bit wonky that's not too good there we go i'm not sure about that i think you guys are a little bit wonky it's been a nice day all days like this are always really um always end up never knowing what to wear and um and i get stressed out and then i end up rushing around and i just i just took today like a normal day and yeah it was good um thank you to youtube and brit mums for inviting me to do the panel it was it was it was really good i was it just it went really quickly i was getting into it and then the panel finished got steph to record a bit but i have a feeling the stuff that he recorded was the bit at the beginning where i got onto st i got on stage and i never get nervous at this sort of stuff yeah for some reason i don't know whether it was the coffee that i'd had but i got onto stage and then i was like oh i'm a bit nervous um i, I mean i came out of my shell within five minutes but i think the bit that steph recorded was the bit where i was probably being very awkward which i do very well <laughs> I don't know what Steph got. If it's really embarrassing, I might not even put it up. Or I might put it up and then we can just all laugh at me. Yeah, should we do that? A couple of the guys there and Emma who was on the panel with me as well. You probably recognised Emma from the Lush event as well. Because she was the one who held the Lush Oxford Street event that I went to. And her YouTube channel is Mother Lena. I'll link it in the description. Yeah, she, she was like, oh, you did really well. And like, a couple of others were like, oh, you were really good. And I, I never know if people are just kind of saying that to be nice. Nice change to pop up there by myself and do the panel i'm just wasting time now between um needing to go get to lila but i thought i'd um have a little catch up because it's always really hard to talk properly when i'm out and about hopefully no one thought i was rude having to leave straight away like i didn't i literally turned up had a bit of lunch which was amazing the food at youtube is just ridiculous like i didn't even get a chance to like go around to see all the different stations but there was like there's all sorts yeah i hope no one thought i was rude for just like turning up doing the panel and leaving but it was just i needed to get back for delilah i'm gonna go get delilah in a second and then my mum's gonna come round. um she came round this time last week but uh it was very stressful this time last week i was trying to do a lot of work delilah um got really unwell and it was really stressful and i felt bad because i don't even think me and my mum really spoke because we were both just trying to like calm delilah and play with her had a nice time at, time at the event it was it was brief but it was good but yeah anyway i must stop nattering now so lila has been loving these banana chips these emily's fruit crisps they're tasty yeah have you had a good day Hey, dog dog yes as soon as she's out of the pram she runs straight to her Peppa Pig house. It's the first thing she goes to in the morning. <laughs> the first thing she goes to when we come back home. You love your Peppa Pig house, yeah, don't yeah. you? Is that Delilah? <laughs> okay, it's off. There you go. Oh, is Daddy on the toilet? Are you staring at him on the loo? <laughs> I completely forgot 
I was vlogging. I mean, I never really vlog when I see my mum or my mum comes here. Um, you guys know that. But um, I didn't even like think to record like any little bits. We had a really nice time. Complete, complete change to this time last week when Delilah was feeling unwell. I had a good chat about lots of stuff and Delilah was just um, amusing herself, playing with us. Um, Doug's just run in her bath as you can hear. We're just gonna have a little bit of story time and wind down. My mum's just gone home. And today, Delilah seems so grown up. Like her vo vocabulary in the last, even day, has massively progressed. It's, it's crazy how quickly they pick up things. Like her vocabulary is picked up. Um, she's always had f amazing understanding of things. Like even the childminder um, the other day said she couldn't believe like how how much Delilah really understands and she's been a childminder since um, since 1992 so since the year I was born so she's been around a lot of kids and for her to say that really makes you think oh okay I'm not just thinking she's like quite clever for her age because I'm her mum because obviously we're all biased here and we always think our kids are like amazing for her to say that was really nice so. and I'm not just imagining it hi you got, you got your little arm around me hi you've been really fun this evening haven't you yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been good fun and we were listening to some music we popped a song on um johnny cash you are my sunshine because that was like mine and my mum's song when i was younger i used to stand there and sing it to her and we put it on in delilah out of nowhere she's never done this before put her arm up in the air and started like swaying she was just short of like a lighter or something just like up in the air <laughs> it's really funny she's just been really fun like i said before she's a really really fun age and i feel like i'm probably noticing it more today because she spent the last week being really ill and not herself. So it's been really nice. Anyway, we're gonna read a story, aren't we? I could jabber on for ages. When I don't vlog all week, I feel like I've got loads to say. Ooh, pancakes, yeah. <laughs> Should we read a book? Do you want to read this? This is mummy's kind of book. Oh no, and it's not, it's a calendar that came with the magazine. It's got all the days on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're being super Bath. silly. Bath, yeah. <gasps> oh, can you get a vlog then? Doug usually tops up the bath after Delilah gets out and then he'll have a bath and I just sort of nipped in and we started chatting and I just sat on the loo and we chatted about life stuff like buying houses and things um, for the last half, last half an hour. Only does that happen, I mean I wasn't on the loo like going to the loo, I was just like I closed the lid and just sat on the loo whilst Doug was in the bath but that's such a like a long term couple thing to do. I had the all clear to upload the vlog that I've been wanting to upload this week um, so I am currently uploading that so yeah kind of getting back on schedule now which is good content that I've collaborated on with another brand um, that was meant to go up around today has actually um, taken a bit longer as well to um, approve so luckily that will go up next week and so these two sponsored videos won't go back to back I've said this before I just really try like to space them out but I've had so many good opportunities this month that I couldn't say no to them but obviously me being me I want to try and please everyone and I don't want people to be rolling their eyes going oh not another advert she's such a sellout blah 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 so hopefully I can get the vlog that I filmed the other day which isn't a sponsored video not that it makes much difference to these vlogs because they're still just like normal vlogs but anyway hopefully I can get that up this weekend before the other one goes up so there's like a non-sponsor in between yeah so that's going up so very happy about that Doug's started making dinner I'm gonna join him and we're gonna make dinner together because it's already it's already 10 to 10 to 8 what can I do can I, can I chop tomatoes okay teamwork happening here
caramelised onion here. We've got shallots and now tomatoes and some salt and pepper cook in here. And then we're going to be frying halloumi in here. I'm going to leave you to serve whilst I get my video up. Okay. Doug's just finishing off the halloumi, but everything else is done. It's looking very tasty. There we go. Just need to click public and publish. Dinner looks yummy. We're going to start watching this program called, um, Doug, what's it called? Motherland. Oh, it's called Motherland. It's meant to be quite funny. It's all about, like, mums and, um, mum rivalry and all of that. It seems lighthearted and fun, so we're going to start watching that. I'm not sure why I've come into the uh, kitchen to wrap up this vlog. Oh, it's about half ten now. And also, as always, I probably should have been in bed an hour ago. We watched the ne the first uh, episode of the new season of Peaky Blinders. Um, it's all, I have sort of a love-hate thing with Peaky Blinders. I mean, I'm not that fast if I never watched it again. But like, it will get to like the end of the episode and I'm like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. But uh, we watch it because uh, Doug loves it. And now we're about to go to bed. I need to replat my hair. <sighs> I'll see you in my next vlog. <laughs>